is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you are having a wonderful fall day. Today is October 6th, 2020. If you're watching this at a later time, I'm so happy that you're with me today. All right, I'm going to be spotlighting the Harvest Hellos stamp set as well as the Apple Builder Punch that coordinates with this stamp set. I'm going to be making my traditional yearly Apple Cider Slider. This year I've changed it up a little bit and I've added a fun twist to make it simpler to whip out multiple um, apple cider sliders. So we'll go ahead and jump right in and get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll take a second to subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you'll be notified when I have upcoming videos for you. And also, please leave me comments throughout this video. I love to read them all and hear what you guys have to say. Okay, so let's start with our stamping. I'm stamping everything in early espresso and I'll go ahead and start right away with using a piece. This is a scrap piece of our Cajun Craze ink pad and I'm using the pumpkin from the stamp set and I'm stamping this in the early espresso. I'm going to stamp that right there and then I'll just set this aside for just a second. And then I'm also going to stamp the stem now I need to look at this and see which way I need to stamp it so that when I punch it out, it's simpler and I waste less paper. So I have that right there ready to go. And I'm also going to go ahead and stamp on this piece of crumb cake cardstock. And I'm stamping the sentiment, hey there pumpkin, just right here. I'm going to be adding a die around this and I'll go ahead and have all of my stamping ready for that. Okay, so let's take our punch. This is the Apple Builder Punch that works with the pumpkin as well. And I'll just line this up and just punch it out. So I have this ready. And now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to take the same punch and I'm going to line this up right here with the stem. And that's ready to go as well. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out our brand new Stampin' Cut and Emboss. Should have had this ready, but I didn't, that's okay. It's just a day in the life of Robin in my craft room with me. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a better view of this. Just move it up a little bit, there you go. You can see our brand new Stampin' Cut and Emboss. This just was released September 1st, and it's available on my shopping page if you're in the United States and you'd like a die cut machine. I have them available there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these platforms in here. I'm going to add this on there and now I'm using one of the shapes from our sweet, so stitched so sweetly dies. And I'm just going to have the Hey There Pumpkin be kind of down and off to the side. Where did I just put the top? Okay, there it is. I lost the top plate. And you can just go forward. I like to go back on the bigger dies, just to double check. Okay, now here we have our die, and now I can go ahead and show you the fancy um, scoring work that we're going to do. I'm going to grab our, this is our paper trimmer, and I have a piece of our early espresso cardstock. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And now we're going to go ahead and score this at two and a quarter on both sides. Make sure you don't use the cutting piece, you use the scoring tool. It comes with that and then we don't need that anymore. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our tear and tape. This is perfect for boxes and bags and any items that you don't want to come apart. You want them to stay permanently. So I'm just going to run this across the whole bottom and just across one side. And I'll go ahead and just take that off, take the top part off. Usually use our take your pick tool. There's a little um, paper piercer on there. I'm sorry, I was in my own world for a second. Okay, so now I'm going to take some apple cider and I'm just going to fold this over and then I'm gonna press it on the bottom so that's really nice and burnished. And then I'm gonna fold this over. This is important that you do this 
while you have the apple cider in there because it's going to give you more space. It's not gonna be so flat. Okay, now I can pull that out for a second. And now we can start layering this up. This is a piece of our Gilded Autumn. I'll have the name of it as well as the item code on the screen for you. I've cut this to three and a half by five inches and I'm using all our Seal Plus to add this on here. And we'll just add this right on here. This is just gonna be a really simple front cover for this. Okay, now I'm going to take that little pumpkin stem and I'm going to add a little drop of our multi-purpose liquid glue just on the bottom of that. And then now I'm going to take the pumpkin and push this on here, flip this over. I'm going to grab some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll just add three, three to the back. And I love making these every year. They're great neighbor gifts. They're great for kids. They're great for any sort of, if you want to hand out something different, I don't know how trick or treating is going to work this year, but if you want something different, a variety, um, this is something fun to add. I'm going to turn this over and now I'm going to use our foam adhesive strips. And I'll do one right here. I'll just use all of it on this one, one strip. And peel off the backs. And then I'm going to add this on here. Isn't this so adorable? Now we want an easy way. Now, if you've seen my past videos with the apple cider sliders every year, I typically have a long ribbon, but this is a way to use less ribbon. And it's just a simple thing to do. I'm using our braided linen trim. And I just have a small piece here. And then I'm just using a regular traditional stapler. Most of us have those in our houses somewhere. So I'm going to just fold this in half, carefully lift this up and staple it like that. And then now, look at this. I have a cute little apple cider slider. What a great gift to give to your family, friends, and neighbors. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. You can find me and more of my tutorials and projects directly on my blog, mypinkstamper.com. And don't forget if you're in the USA, you can order everything you see today directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, bye.